Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I want to give you the rundown on the 3DR Solo Drone. It's great if you want to get good aerial footage and it syncs directly with your GoPro. After watching a bunch of reviews and tutorials as well as hours of flight time of my own, I came up with a list of 9 things that you should know before you fly it or buy it. First is the 3DR Solo app. Anyone can download the app, watch the videos, they're very brief, and use the flight simulator along with the controller to learn how to fly before you take off. Make sure to watch them, they're very brief and helpful. Next, it's so easy to fly that my nine year old nephew took off, flew it, did some maneuvers and landed without me touching it. Third, why all the hype around the 3DR solo drone? It's because 3DR took the time to develop it to be a smart drone built for consumers. It does things like hover itself and work to prevent it from crashing as well as do maneuvers that would normally take years to learn, such as selfie, orbit, cable cam, and follow. Fourth, cost. The cost of the drone itself is about $1,000, but that doesn't include the gimbal, which is an additional $399. A gimbal, just in case you don't know, is the device that holds the GoPro in place and allows you to electronically move the camera up and down while you're in flight. It's essential for stable shooting. In my opinion, the 3DR Solo is worth every penny if you're looking to get good aerial shots. There's also packages that you can find online that are less expensive if you buy the drone and the gimbal together. Next, why and how to calibrate. Calibration is what helps the drone know up and down and left and right. While it's calibrated after being manufactured, things can shift while it's shipping or with abrupt movements. So it's good to calibrate it before you take off and as frequently as possible. To calibrate your 3DR Solo, go into settings, then solo settings, then scroll down to level and compass settings. Simply follow the instructions, it's extremely simple. Sixth, once in a while you won't get a video feed from the GoPro. In order to prevent that from happening, what you do is turn on the drone first with the controller, then the GoPro, and sync it to Wi-Fi before the apps open. Then open the app and the video feed should come through just fine. Seventh, if you ever get in trouble, there's a pause button on the controller that's designed to help you get out of a sticky situation. Just press the pause button and the drone's designed to hover on its own. There are two reverse and two forward propellers. They're marked by silver and black markings on the top of the propeller. Spare propellers can be picked up online or at Best Buy for $14.95 for a set of one black top and one silver top. And last, every drone owner or pilot must register themselves on the FAA website and then clearly mark your drone with your unique member ID. There are sites that say they will register for you. You don't need to use them. Just go to FAA.gov or the link on the screen you can do it yourself and have your unique ID number in minutes. Those are some basics of the 3DR Solo. I love it, uh, highly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to get right back to you. Happy flying, be safe, and get some awesome aerial footage.